video to prove it, and we warn you, what you're about to see may be disturbing. July 2019, inside the Central Mississippi Correctional Facility in Rankin County, and all hell is about to break loose after 33-year-old Lisa Courtney knocks a food tray out of a prison guard's hands. A fight breaks out and officers and prisoners pile on Courtney. The officers then leave the, uh, the cell block and for the next minute or two, the inmates just, they have their way with her, kicking her in the head, stomping on her, hitting her with the prison cell phone. Um, I mean, even as the officers come back in uh, and drag her out, and even while they're dragging her out, the inmates are kicking her in the face and just, I mean, it's horrible. Joshua Lewis is a friend of the family and now an attorney representing them. We have not filed a lawsuit, and uh, I don't even know that we're going to do that. Uh, at this point, you know, we just want, we want some accountability and we want answers. Answers, says Lewis, to what happened to Lisa Courtney and why. After this incident, so she's handcuffed, she's taken outside, then she's beaten unrecognizable by one of the guards with handcuffs on. And then she's put in maximum security. And then we have this, you know, mysterious death where she, where she dies, where she was begging, take me to the hospital, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And they give her Maalox, send her back to her cell, and she's found dead. That was in December. Lewis says nothing has ever been done to the ones responsible for the vicious attack on Lisa Courtney. You know, it wasn't just the guards against Lisa, and it wasn't just the inmates against Lisa. It was the inmates and the guards against Lisa. They need to be prosecuted. If they're going to if they're going to refer Lisa, let's refer them to the grand jury and let, let's let's put it all out there and let's let them decide whether or not charges should be brought. It shouldn't be handled, you know behind the scenes, just internally as an investigation. Some of these individuals weren't even fired. They still work there. Lewis said Lisa Courtney was in prison for burglary and had a troubled past, but he says she was serving her punishment and deserved at least a chance to turn her life around. Now, Lewis gave me copies of emails sent to Ron King. These